What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat and strap in, because we're about to have some fun. Now lately I've been feeling like my content has become a bit stale and repetitive, so I figured today why not try something different and, you know, change up the structure a little bit. So bear with me as we try something new, and let's dive right in. Just kidding, this is not that kind of channel. Almost got you there, right? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to business. Today we're going to be reviewing a couple of covid in Singapore, and if you don't know what covid are, just keep watching and you'll figure out really quickly. So we're going to take a look at some of the more iconic covid during the circuit breaker, and I'm going to rate them on a scale of 1 to 100 on how much of a covid they are. Now the points don't matter and this is all for fun, so please don't take this seriously and don't come after me. Now without further ado, let's dive right in for real this time. How you know it's nice about it? Right off the bat, the text says how to spread Wuhan, so you know this is already not gonna go well. I know he did not just open up the drink and drink straight out of it. That ain't right. Put back. Put back some more. Very good. Very good. Come, I clap for you. He's going in for another drink? No. That was really chaotic, like those guys probably thought they were the coolest shit ever trying to pull a prank like that in the supermarket and guess what, they got charged for it. Who's the bodo now? I would rate these guys a level 85 covid because they clearly got an A plus on being a public nuisance. So what's the without what's, warning, what's your without understanding? A what's your understanding? I'm a sovereign. I am a sovereign. She's a sovereign. Pooja, what is this behaviour? Pooja, what is this behaviour? They don't even know what they are sovereign. It means I have nothing to do with the police. It means I have no contract with the police. I have no say. Nothing to do with the police. No contract with the police. What is even going on anymore? This doesn't even make any sense. This guy said exactly what's on my mind. Like this woman tried to shop without a mask on, which is clearly against the circuit breaker rules. And this wasn't the first time. She's been caught doing this on three separate occasions in total. Like, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me thrice, go to IMH. Which is exactly what happened, she got remanded at IMH. I would rate her a level 99 covid because clearly she lives on a different plane of existence where the rules here don't apply to her and no one has come close to breaking her record of committing the same mistake three times in a row and still not feeling any guilt or remorse. Like, ladies and gentlemen, the final boss of all covid right here, this woman. Even when you get a Tapao food, you also don't know what, right? Right off the bat, her voice is just nails on a blackboard and not really feeling good about this one. So, I would say that it's not a situation that we can really really control 100%. So why not just try to leave the best out of the situation? Leave your best? Excuse me miss, this is not the time to live love love, we are in the middle of a pandemic. I'm not saying that I'm not scared <laughs> la, but if I really get it then okay lor, like just get it and you know, recover. Wow. Wow. Are you hearing this? Just get it then recover. So easy. Even if I were to get it, I'm, I'm confident that the health system will help me recover in time. Okay, excuse me Karen, the healthcare system is not just looking after you and they're not indebted to take care of you because you try to be irresponsible. Yeah, no, this ain't it. I'm gonna give Karen a level 25 covid like she doesn't know better and this was like an interview, she might have been edited out to make it seem like she was more of a covid than she really is, but I highly doubt it, so yeah, level 25. And he took off his mask. Wait, what? Now he's doing like a TSA scan? What's going on? I'm giving these guys like a level 60 covid yet because they're not as crazy as the ones who drank straight from the drinks along the aisle. These are like a different tier, I would say, a little lower. They think they're trying to be funny like security officers outside and then they're literally pranking other customers who just want to get their grocery shopping done. So yeah, level 60. Wow. 
No. No. No, 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 no. This is a hate crime. I'm gonna call the police. Better yet, SG secure. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Oh, no, 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 this is real, this is real. Yeah, yeah, so someone uploaded this IG story of, you know, pressing the lift button, but he was using his feet instead of his hands, like a normal person with some brain cells. Sorry, I mean, okay, I'll calm down, I'll calm down. Yeah, okay, it was in the lift, yeah, he used his feet instead of his hands. Yeah, can we, can we do something about that? Are you gonna arrest that guy? Not enough details? Not the right platform to call or report? Oh. Okay, sure. Don't call this again. Okay, right, bye. So, that didn't work out. I'm just gonna rate this guy level 40 COVID yet. Let's move on. Okay, this next one is a still image, you know, to change things up a bit. And it's a photo of a very iconic lady who was doing some stretches before crossing the road and just so happened to press the stoplight button with her feet. I don't know if she's genetically related to the guy who used his feet in the lift, but I choose to believe it. So I will give her level 45. All right, so what's the matter here? Uh, you want me to explain it? That accent. Those first few words already tell me everything I need to know. No, why did you tear this off? Oh, I'm extremely drunk. That explains a lot. I want you to listen to me. Okay. How should I tell the ministry that I want them to listen to me? You can write your email in. This guy behind the camera is just super patient. I mean, of course the drunk guy wants to talk to a minister after tearing out all the tape men to mark out areas where we can't gather in groups. It's just a hot mess really. I'm gonna give him a level 30 because he's like a harmless covid idiot. He's drunk but he has someone, which is the guy who's filming him, over there to make sure he's not going crazy. So yeah, level 30. Circuit breaker. Wow, okay, this guy is already coming out real strong and he's already at a hundred and I don't like the energy he's giving off, especially with the way he's wearing his mask like that. That is just some chaotic evil. Because we don't give a f We don't give a damn, yeah? Why does he talk like he's from Texas? What's going on? What's going on with people and their accents, really? Hell yeah, damn right. Yeah. Let's f it. I f the circuit breaker. Okay, I think we get the gist, like, Clearly this guy is really in love with the circuit breaker and still doesn't know how to wear a mask. I'm gonna say he's a level 32 COVID yet. What's with people and red tape? Like, can't they just leave the tape alone? I don't know why she thinks that's fun. Also, what are you trying to prove or accomplish by leaping under it? Is this some parkour shit? Parkour! What are you trying to prove? I don't want to know. Keep it to yourself. You are a level 40 COVID yet. Okay, these things too are photos because sadly we don't have videos of this really funny encounter. So as you can see, clearly these two guys were on the bus and they were seated on those seats that have been marked out for people not to sit on. You see? You don't read. You get a sticker on your butt. Now apart from these few COVID idiots, there were also plenty of disputes that happened on the food delivery front. You have everything from root customers to root delivery drivers to root staff. It was just a lot to process. Now in some of these food delivery disputes, I feel like it's not so clear cut whether it's the driver or the staff's fault because sometimes circumstances are just shitty on both sides. Take for example when people were rushing out to get bubble tea and all these orders just kept coming in. So of course the staff and the riders would be overwhelmed. So I'm not going to rate these guys, but if you're talking about customers being rude to the staff at food outlets, these people are automatically level 80 covid idiots. Like, these staff are just trying to do their job, so just be more patient, you know? Chill out. So we've covered quite a number of covid idiots already, but this is really just the tip of the iceberg. We still have a couple more to go through, and I'm just going to give them honourable mentions real quick. Now our first honourable mention goes to this man who was arrested for public nuisance after stripping down to his underwear in Kalang Baru. I mean, gotta give it to this guy for championing body positivity, but time and place lah, huh? I'm gonna say he's a level 61. Our next honourable mention goes to this guy who hit a cleaning lady's arm after she tried to stop him from ripping the plastic off the seats at Chinatown Food Centre. So all of the seats have been covered in cling wrap so people won't sit down and dine in, but this guy thought, you know what? I'm gonna play the reverse card. I think this guy is a level 49 COVID idiot because 
he's harmless but also a bit disruptive so he's just somewhere down the middle now our next honorable mention goes to this auntie who insisted on eating her kuei chap at the hawker center she not only ripped off the clear plastic off the seats she sat down and had her food i would say she's a level 75. next up we have this woman who refused to stop eating at the changi airport food court level 40 covid -yet. this next guy gets an honorable mention because he gave a racist rant after he was caught not wearing a mask just to forget to bring just to buy one thing hey you chinese are Hell, man. That was a lot. I mean, Chinese people do some stupid shit, I have to agree, but that was a bit out of pocket. I would say he's a level 83 covid -yet because ain't nobody got time for racism. Over here, we have seven people who were fined after gathering for overnight eating and drinking on a cordon-off bench in Woodlands. I mean, this headline is just... chef's kiss. And the fact that in the video, they were all chilling out before the police came is just amazing. These guys, level 69 covid -yets. Now we have another special honourable mention for a group of 9 people who were caught feeding or watching wild boars. I mean, 2020 just keeps getting crazier. These guys I would think are level 59 covid yet because they went all out of their way to feed the wild boars when nobody asked. Now this next honourable mention is one of my favourites, it's a two-part love story in pictures. Now here you see the two of them enjoying each other's company in a cordon off area, and in the next photo, the police have joined in. It's just... love in a time of corona. I think both of them are level 71 covid yet because they just them siasue. Can you imagine if you just got your solidarity payout and you immediately have to give it back because you get fined? Not a smart move. Now I know what you must be thinking, with all these bad news of covid yet in Singapore, we really have lost our way as a nation. But you know what, there's still one last glimmer of hope. And I have good news to share. That's right, the PMDs have returned to CTE. Nature is healing, we are the virus. Alright guys, that's it. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be plenty more of covid down the line, but for now, please be smart. Don't be a covid -yet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and comment down below what I should react to next. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! YOLO, say no, no.